Oh shit! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. Bear! Word. <laughs> oh my right, gosh, how you guys doing today? 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 I try to work on that intro. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but you know, I'm trying to make it mad hype. That's what I'm, that's what that's what I'll possibly do. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just gonna try different intros until I get one right, essentially. But anyways. We're here with another YouTube video, another, another one, another one, another one, where we're just scrolling through the timeline, but usually sometimes, from time to time, I will just write out, start off with the topic, and today, actually, I want to talk, start out with DJ Academics, once again, hitting the headlines, this man has been hitting the headlines pretty much, I think he's just going crazy until the new year, but, um, DJ Academics, and this is a story where, uh, a lot of people might not know the story, but... So there's these streamers, right? Cap God, Annoying, and I'm not too sure who else. Um, they went out to Toronto for Drake's concert. And uh, as they were in the Sprinter, some Toronto gang, members, uh, gang members showed up and pretty much robbed one of the, uh, the friends, the Cap God, Cap God, Cap the God, you know, uh, of his chain. And so, you know, that went crazy, went viral, you know what I mean? Everybody was talking about it. Everybody was talking about, you know, how Annoying could have possibly left him. Because Annoying didn't get robbed. He also had chains and whatnot. And then everybody was saying, you know, how streamers need security now and all this yada, yada, yada. It was a really big deal, honestly. Um, because streamers are getting robbed now and they're dressed like, you know, they're dressed up or chained up, blinged out, just like rappers. So they got it. They definitely have to have security. I do believe that, like, streamers should have security now, especially if you're bigger. Or if you're willing to be, you know, blinged out like that. Um, so, yeah, so they got robbed. Or uh, Cap the God got his chain snatched in Toronto. But the craziest thing about it is that DJ Academics somehow, some way, got the chain back. DJ Academics re-snatched back. Cap the God's chain from Toronto goons. It's crazy. And let me let read what he says here. I got back my homie Cap the God chain that got took last month in Toronto while he was IRL streaming with Annoying. Shout out to Top 5 and GGG. If y'all streamers want to be safe out there in Toronto, y'all check in. The homie coming on stream at 5 to give y'all streamers tips on how not to get booked for y'all jewelry. Tap in. Crazy. Crazy academics, DJ academics, re snatched a chain from Toronto goons. Let me hear. Let, does that even like sentence even make sense? Academics got someone's chain back. That's crazy. This man's pretty much a goon himself. Actually, at this point, that's nuts. They say AK the Toronto J Prince. Yeah, AK is the Toronto J Prince. Checking in with academics is nuts. Streets is done. Yo, listen, man. <laughs> That's facts, bro. That's facts. But all right, hold on. Let me see. Let me see what I have to say. From now on, I'm the internet J Prince, man. <laughs> I have to tap. Bro, hold on. There's music playing in the background, so I don't want the copyright to catch it. My GGs real quick. It took my boy chain. I got it back. That's crazy. I can't believe he really got the chain back. He got Cap the God's chain back. Ooh. Shout out to Top 5 and GGG. Did he really set goons to get the go train back from other goons? Mm. Yo, Cap, I got you, nigga. That's crazy. Next time you go to Toronto, so tap in with the GGs, man. We straight. Tap in with the GGs? So, I can with the GG now? <laughs> Holy shit. Shout out to the Wassas, you heard me? He said shout out to the Wassas. Holy Come on, man. crap. Yo, we gonna be on stream in like two hours. All right. I'm gonna have one of the GGs on with me. They gonna break it the whole thing down. Oh, that's crazy. He's going to have one of the GGs on stream with him. I'm definitely going to be tuning into that. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. If y'all ain't know, my, my boy got his team took in Toronto, but they fuck with me so heavy. They said, act, take it back. That's crazy. Act, take it back. Real talk. My favorite part right here. Fucking image. I know every DJ but this pussy academics. Chain. That's crazy. That's crazy. Academics running the streets. It's facts right now. W phase rage. 
Academics is now an official street goon. He is certified. No one can say shit to him no more. He's snatching chains back from other goons. He's getting goons chasing other goons, bro. This nigga's a kingpin now. Academics good shit for getting Cap the God his chain back first off, because that is one of his boys. So good shit for that. Um, yeah, that's just dope. That's interesting. Honestly, it's just really, it's just. I mean, Academics has a lot of power, so that should be no. That should be like. Yeah, I just I mean I just didn't think he could do I mean I've never seen him use utilize his power like that. So or maybe I just haven't been paying attention. But yeah, so he got his uh he got Cat the God's chain back. Shout out to DJ Academics, that's fucking dope. Good for him, because that's his boy, so he should have done that. Uh, but yeah, just you know and this is a message to streamers that say, you know, you definitely gotta watch out when you go out to, you know, foreign places. Always have security, always have security, always have security, please, always have security, be on your P's and Q's, head on a swivel, especially if you have a jewelry on. You guys should be paying attention to everything and everything around you, especially if you don't have security. But you just want to have security anyways, just for safety measures. You know, you just should have it. Um, but yeah, this is the one case where it, it comes out positive. Captain Dodge getting his chain back, you know, and that's dope. Like, it's just one case that it actually came out positive and, and you know, he, he actually got the chain back. Most people will never get that chain back. That's facts. That's facts. So, good shit, DJ. DJ Ack. DJ Ack. All right. Let's go back to Twitter timeline. All right. Let's see what else we got. One-handed is crazy. Yep, people driving nuts. Oh, new research shows using cannabis every day raises many of the same risk of severe heart disease that affect freaking cigarette smokers. Cap or no cap? I'm not too sure. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you if that's cap or not cap. I hope it is cap. <laughs> Let me see. Rent in O Block is about two dollars. Oh, I gotta put the music. They not asking for much, Sean. It's rats and roaches over there, bro. It's only two dollars. Mm. Block. How much you think rent is? Over? At least two dollars. And when I say two dollars, I don't mean two hundred. Did he just $2. put? Whoa. He said rent in O Block. And hold on. Did this man just put? Did he just put water? Hold on. It is over there. At least two dollars. Wait. Yo, this dude put water in his cereal, I think. It is over there. At least $2. Yo, he just put water in his cereal. Is that normal? Is that cereal? I say $2, I don't mean 200 It's $2, bro. My people used to stay over there. They not asking for much, Sean. Wait, what is he eating? Yo, that just got me mad distracted, bro. <laughs> I swear I just saw clear liquid just go into that cereal bowl. Rent is over there. At least two dollars. And when I nah, say two dollars, I don't mean two hundred. It's two dollars, bro. Bro, that's cereal. Is that not they cereal? They not asking for money. Holy shit! But yeah, okay. Back to the topic at hand, though. That's crazy. FYB, J Main on how much? Yeah, two dollars to rent uh, in O Block. It's over there, bro. It's only two dollars, but you gotta have your paperwork set up. Cause they could charge you fifteen hundred in O Block. They just re-innovated the whoop. When I was running through O Block, them ain't this how the careers was looking. O Blocky and ass called me the other day, showed me how I look on the inside. I'm where you at? I didn't even know that was in the O. I'm damn. I thought that was in Texas somewhere in some That's big crazy. mansion. I'm it hit different. When I think you in a Texas mansion and you in the middle of O Block. Let's start there. Cause I know the fact. Von Money ain't do all of that. Now what the honey K do? Like. Let's start there. Like, y'all telling me $100,000 fixed the whole O? Like, nah, bro. It hit different. That shit on them, um, them chains. And Block. Yeah, he's not eating that damn cereal. I knew it. <laughs> but that's crazy. That's dope, though. They renov re uh, renovated O Block. And it looks nice. But it's $2 for rent. That'd be. I, I would love to do that. I'd love to live there. Um, yeah, I kind of watched, started watching this video here. Name a celebrity more desperate for attention than Doja Cat. You can't. She's in her tweaker phase. Yes, Doja Cat is definitely in her fucking tweaker phase. She's been going, like, I don't know what the hell's up with her. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with her right now. But, you know what, I, I don't want to say Doja Cat's in her tweaker phase, because, I don't know, people do do this stuff, like, you know, you all, everybody has that weird friend that does this type of thing, you know what I mean, in the comfort of their homes, FaceTime, you know, when they call them, so I don't want to say that she's completely in her tweaker phase, but, I mean, it is a little weird, yeah, of course, because she's celebrity, but I think it's because, 
You know what I mean? Celebrity shouldn't be held that much higher. You know what I mean? Than than a normal person. And I feel like this is like I don't know if she's trying to make a statement or something because we everybody has a weird friend that does things like this. You know what I mean? So like that's why it's not that weird, but it is weird because she's a celebrity and celebrities usually hold this perfect standard. You know what I mean? They look a certain way, act a certain way, talk a certain way. You know what I mean? So so I I think that's why people are just so weirded out about this because it's a, a someone that's super rich and famous and is acting so strangely. Or but she's really just acting like. That normal weird friend that everybody would have. <laughs> Did you have a baby? Like what the fuck? That's facts though. She's just that normal weird friend. That's all. She she actually had another one too. I wanna find it. Um Where's the other one? There was no oh here it is. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. I gotta find another one. People play music on the back of it. Dozaka confirms that she is, in fact, in a relationship with someone. Oh, that's cool. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. I don't feel like that was really mean for me to do that. To say that, make that video. That was like really disturbing. I'm serious. <laughs> you guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. I don't feel like that was really mean for me to do that. That's crazy. To say that, make that video. That was like really disturbing. She's cut. But she's just that weird friend. Honestly, she's just that weird friend. That that Doja Cat right now, she's just that that person. That is what it is. I don't think you should go too deep into it. She's not doing anything like maybe she's doing something a little bit with some, a little bit of meaning, meaning just like you know. What I mean, people shouldn't hold um, somebody to a higher standard. Like they should hold them to the standard of that weird friend you know that everybody has. So I, I don't know if that's what it is. Or maybe I'm just looking too deep into it, but whatever. It is what it is. It's just Doja. I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of getting used to it. So, but yeah. Ice Spice is wild for this. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. I almost paused because I was just like, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is nuts, bro. That is wild. Uh, <laughs> that is wild. Uh... Oh, Tory Lanez, The Color Violet, Alone at Prom Deluxe, November 17th. Nice. Tory Lanez is still dropping. DGG and Sukiyana behind the scenes of Annalie Choppa's new movie, Nightmare Nightmare on Cottonwood. <gasps> <laughs> Yo, he actually did smack her butt? That's crazy. No way. Ah, it's crazy. I mean, method acting, right? Method acting. It is what it is. That's the truth. That it is what it is. Method acting, for real. You gotta do, I mean... Yeah, I mean, Holly will probably end up doing way worse shit. So, so... See, this is why I want to date an actor, though. <laughs> that would, I want to date... I don't know if I would be able to do that, man. Honestly, watch a girl get her ass back or kissed or anything like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just an extremely jealous person, but this shit crazy. I mean, hey. Cool on DDG. You got to smack Suki on his booty. It's a good scene. Good scene. Good scene. All these dudes, everybody in there jealous. Let me see. Where's the crowd who thought Kiki Palmer gave him an usher like she did with the utmost respect? Where's the crowd who thought Kiki Palmer engaging with Usher like she did was the utmost disrespect? I'm interested on their view on this. Nah, that's normal. It's just a movie. So. It's whatever, though. Not too crazy. Of course, they'll probably try to blow it out of proportion. You know what I mean? Hallie's fans will definitely try to blow it out of proportion. But, um, yeah, it's not too, it's not too out of the ordinary. I just got done setting up all my furniture. That's crazy. 
Doja Cat, a new video shared to social media. Can Petrus support her? Okay. There's no way 2020 was a real year. White people kneeling and begging for forgiveness for black people. Hold on, let me see this shit. That's crazy. 2020 was a wild year, man. T Grizzly, T Grizzly, Sada Baby, and Peasy. Sada Baby. Has Sada Baby dropped in a while? I feel like I haven't seen him in a while. Lil Yachty links up with violent self-defense instructor for some self-defense tips. Oh, I'd love to hear this. He probably does. I bet you this guy does have some actual real self-defense tips, you know, and like, but he he plays into what people think of him on social media. But I get you. I bet, I feel like he's actually like he does actually know like no he actually does know like self-defense tips. I do believe that maybe hey maybe he looks like he would. Some of the things could be real. That's wild. That's wild. Wow. See, I knew it. This man definitely does know some real Sunday monsters. Johnny looks like he said, ooh. Nah, he definitely, like, that shit definitely hurts. <laughs> that's dog. That's cool though. See, I knew he knew some real self defense tips. <laughs> that's cool. You can tell Yachty is definitely a fan of him. Definitely watches his fire a lot of his content. That's cool though. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I knew that. I knew that man knew some real self defense tips. He had to have. Because only someone that's masterful in their own craft can make fun of their own craft. You feel me? May that make sense? That makes sense. After after watching this video, g give me three gay sons and I'm happy. Oh, yeah, this homecoming video, crazy. This homecoming video is nuts, bro. I don't even want to watch it. Like, I already seen that. Thoughts on Doja Cat. Camp Flognog 23. Oh, shoot. November 11th, the 11th, oh, yeah, Tyler's, um, Tyler's, uh, like, yearly, uh, I don't know if it's yearly or every couple of years, uh, his little, uh, his thing, what do you call it, festival, can't vlog now, that's cool, Tizo's there, Tizo touchdown, I really do enjoy Tizo, like, I don't know where he's gonna actually be going, with uh his craft but i love his sound you know what I, mean? I love his sound I like i like how he is you know i like his style so i think i think tito is pretty dope dua lipa shares new photo oh yeah okay bro thought he was gonna get an invite but he got cooked instead <laughs> Celebrate my ass off, but I better not see your ass there. You don't want to be around me while I got alcohol in me. Homie. That'll ruin your night. That'll ruin my night. If I look up, I see your ugly ass face. Look at me. What is. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Okay. Doja Cat via IG stories. Dude's looking for air. Bro, try breathing out of his eyes. <laughs> Yo, Jada and Des were out in Dubai channeling Boosie in school, but. Come on. Oh my god. Bro, they're crazy. One first off, not a lie. These girls are nuts for doing this in Dubai though. Public intoxication, yo, bad, 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 bad. They don't even know. This is actually Dubai. 
Bro, they don't even know. These guys can literally get locked up. Like, so crazy. Like, my um, stepmother went there, and she was saying, like, how you can't even hold, hand, hold hands or do anything like that. You can't do shit out there, bro. They'll lock you up for anything and everything. You know what I mean? Someone said that like, they can literally leave their fuck Audemars. You know what I mean? Or, like... Ah, uh, you your, your Rolex, whatever, you know what I mean? Fucking diamond bezeled out, you know what I mean? Go, like, you can leave anything sitting on the, like, side of the road or whatever, or, like, on a table. You can walk away for three hours and come back, and that shit will still be there. They, if you get caught stealing, they chop your hands off. I think that's crazy. I think that's wild. I think that's wild. Um, let's see what else. Nicki Minaj and Tate McRae will be releasing their new albums on the same day, December 8th. Okay, who's Tate McRae? No clue. Grandma said I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> Dumb amount of what? She's about to collapse. Dumb amount of salt. This is the one of my new favorite TikTok pages covering car depreciation. 80k, 100k loss on EVs in one year. That's crazy. Aiden Ross paid 200,000. Hold on. For a leaked song of Kanye West and Travis Scott years ago, which turned out to be AI. No, this this can't be real. This can't be real. I one time spent two hundred thousand dollars on an unreleased song, a leaked song, a, a snippet I heard online, and, I, and then this guy hit me up and said I had played it, and he was like, "I can get you that shit. Let me know two hundred thousand dollars." I was like, "What? Why is it so expensive?" This dude ain't gotta be joking, cause this is just Here's straight idiot, like Here's dumb. An I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear the snippet. That for two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> now, mind you, I'm a young kid. This is years ago. I'm a, I'm a young fucking kid, bro. I'm a young kid, and I'm like, fuck. Travis, yay. I buy his. Can you be? Can you be? Listen, can you be? listen up. This dude really spent two hundred thousand. Oh. Wait, is that AI or is that real? I one time spent two hundred. That's crazy. Two hundred thousand dollars on a AI unreleased song. Man got finessed for two hundred thousand dollars. Aiden Ross got for so that's for two hundred thousand for a, a leaked Cardi West and Travis Scott and that happened to be AI. That's crazy. I would never pay two hundred thousand anyways for an unreleased song, even though I probably thought about it like it was for content maybe. But still, I would still never do that. I don't think you could re recoup two hundred thousand. You know, or maybe you could. I guess if it was an actual song, maybe you could, but I don't think so. NBA Youngboy's BM Arcola is accusing him of having her jump by two people. Watch who you have kids with. My son, dad, let his whores, yes, whores, with an ass cause it. It was two of them weak ass. Okay. Well, she got jumped. Okay. Well, yeah, just, that's true, though. Watch who you have babies with. I guess that's true. Big Soldier, a.k.a. Big Draco, says J. Cole is a bitch. Needs to wash his dreads. Jesus. And your fan, niggas will slap shit up. Jesus. Why is Soldier going so crazy on J. Cole? Jeez. I thought they squashed this. I thought this was squash. No? Hold on. I thought this was squash. Bro, Big Soldier, bro, Draco needs to chill out with J. Cole. <laughs> this is how J. Cole discipline will be. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'm like, bro, Soldier Boy is crazy, bro. He needs to chill out. He needs to chill out. I love Soldier Boy, though, but he needs to chill. He needs to chill. 
he gets his flowers. Like he did mad shit, bro. We know. You never won. You know, you did a lot of shit first. But like, bro, you need to chill, chill on J Cole. Chill on J Cole. Um, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, Larissa Pippen responds to Cardi B's assessment of her claim that she and Scotty had sex four times a night. How come? you guys like she wasn't in bed with us so I don't know and I don't know I kind of felt like that was comical and I, it's funny because I called Alexi and I go Alexi you don't think I have sex four times a day and Margo I don't was think like, well, anybody I, I you have sex four times a day just so you know like if you were having sex with Scotty four times a day you still would be married that's what I was saying they said they still you still would be married oh my god why is everybody talking at the same time Jesus. And I'm the Marcus. sex expert. Whenever I look over at Larsa, she's always texting <laughs> That's right. with Marcus. She's the one with the best thing is different than sex. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I feel like it probably could, it's true based you on. Know, I... That's crazy. That is nuts, man. That is nuts. That is crazy. Sex four times a day. You think that she was actually having sex for How could someone else comment on how many times, right? That's fact. That's fact, because she doesn't actually know her um, dating life. So, she doesn't actually know, like, if she did was having sex four times, but I don't think so. You know, I, I mean, I could, could not. I'm not too sure. I mean, you could have sex four times, I guess, but. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Someone said it. you'd still be married if you were having sex four times. That's crazy. James Harden arrives for his first game as a Los Angeles Clipper. Okay, okay. Juice World's best song is Lucid Dreams. Number wise, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Travis Scott and play with Cardi Houdini. Is this a real song? Man, I don't know what's AI and real song anymore. Anyways, is this a real song? I don't know. Cardi got a beard now. It's crazy. Aiden Ross gave Fousey 100000 after his financial si situation allegedly took a hit. Oh, yeah. Fousey's released. That's dope. Fousey's out. So there's going to be some crazy IRL streams coming soon for sure. Um, this new Yeet era looks insane. What the fuck? Oh, let me see. Lifestyle security solution. Do you Yeet is designing his brand, right? You know what Yeet's brand is reminds me of? Like, though it has a lot of, um, like, you know, a lot of people will say it, it looks, it feels like Young Thug. But his brand reminds you of, like, um, what's that game called? Shit. Or am I, am I, he, he's making, like, post-apocalyptic era music. <laughs> and that makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like some music I feel like they would play in, um... Shit, I forgot what that game's called. Um, like apocalyptic, apocalyptic era. I feel like this is this is like his brand, this is his style, it's his look. You know what I mean? He looks like um fuck, man. I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name. He looks um What do they call that? Fucking I don't remember. I don't remember. But whatever. But you know what that means. Hopefully you know what you guys know what I mean. Comment in the you know below if you know what the hell I did mean first off. <laughs> but nah, it's dope. Feel alone? Feel like if you yeah, see, look at it. No one would notice. Well, thankfully, it's time for a change. Welcome to 2093, where lifestyle corporate. 2093, and it's very futuristic. 
is That's crazy. Free. That's right. No more worrying about vandalism or theft. We respond to any sign of crime immediately. Someone you love gone missing? Forget it. We track every footstep they make year round. Perhaps you wonder if your employees are working while you're away. Our most advanced life cams are on every wall of your workplace, as well as our military grade cloaking technology, so no one will ever know they're being watched. That's crazy. Let's face it, everyone. Privacy is a thing of the past. So sit back, relax, and know you are in good hands. Lifestyle is here for you, and we are always watching. That's crazy. That's interesting. He's, yeah, I, 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 I'm interested in how he develops, but he has a lot of room for development. You know, he has mad room for development. Like, I think he can take his brand and go crazy with it, like, rock it off with his brand. You know, I think he could do a lot of great work, you know, and I think he is going to be someone to watch out for for a lot of years to come. I'm very interested to see how it's about. He's, like, the, probably the most exciting artist right now. Just to see, like, how he styles his music, how his brand developed, how long he can last, his longevity. You know, there's a lot of interesting things. Like, any, I mean, he's had hits on hits on hits on hits on hits. You know, so uh, I don't really know how he's going to end up. But I'm very, I'm very interested to see, to see on how he ends up. Um, but, yeah, so that was, um, yeah. So we're actually just going to end it right there on that. Um, yeah, so we'll see how he develops. You know, we touched a couple topics. Uh, but yeah, I think this video is done. I'll catch you guys later. You just saw my son in the background walk by like a ghost. But I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. As always, peace out. Peace.